Hi, this is Vicki with Crafting for Fun. Today I want to show you how I made this water bottle hanger. Um, it's designed so that the water bottle can sit up completely on its own and that the hanger will hang freely on the front. The hanger does have a pocket in the front and you can add items to that pocket. I'm going to add a packet of a uh, flavored drink mix like the, uh, this is Cherry Limeade and um, I actually am using an inexpensive brand and it says just add water and that's the only part that you can really read other than the flavor here. Um, but I have seen people add candy to similar uh, style uh, water bottle hangers or I have seen them use them for picnics and add like a, a wet wipe, a moist towelette so that people could clean their hands. So it's a versatile project and pretty inexpensive to make. Um, before I begin showing you how I actually made my project, I do want to, I'm going to take this off, I do want to um, make you aware of one thing. I have used several circle punches and scalloped punches and uh, even a flower shaped punch to decorate mine, but the only part of this project that is absolutely essential is the pieces in order to make the base of the project and then at, that you have at least one hole punch with a hole large enough to fit over the neck of your bottle. The other pieces are simply the way that I have chosen to embellish mine. You may or may not choose to do yours the same way. So um, I, I do want you to be aware that you can make this project even if you don't have all of the same supplies I have. So let me show you what I use to create my project. To create a water bottle hanger, you will need a couple of uh, pieces of cardstock. You'll need a piece of cardstock for the base of your project that measures two and one quarter by eight and one half inches long. You'll need a piece of designer paper or decorator paper that measures two inches by four inches. And then you'll need scraps of coordinating paper. Since my paper has a green background with cream and pink colored polka dots, I'm using scraps of cream pink and green to coordinate. So you'll just need to coordinate with whichever color you have in your background. Uh, you'll also need some punches. Today I'm going to use a one and a quarter inch circle punch, a one and three eighths inch circle punch, a scalloped circle punch, and this scallop is slightly larger than the one and three eighths. You'll need a three quarter inch circle punch and a flower shaped circle punch. Now all of the punches that I'm using uh, you can fiddle and uh, try different sizes of punches that you have in your stack. You'll just need one punch that's very essential and that's the one that is large enough to go over the neck of the bottle. And so I suggest the one and a quarter or one and three eighths inch punch for that size. The others are just simply the ones that I've chosen to decorate my project with. So let me show you how I made the base of my project. I took the piece of pay, uh, cardstock that is eight and a half inches by two and a quarter and I laid it with the eight and a half inch side at the top and I'm going to score it two and one eighth inches from one end and I'm going to turn it and score at two and one eighth of an inch from the other end. And I'm finished scoring. I'm going to take my whoops, I'm going to take my one and a quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to make the part that goes over the neck of the bottle by inserting the cardstock into um, the the punch and I'm just going to punch a circle. I'm going to try to center it up as best I can within that square at the end. So now I'm going to take my piece of uh, designer paper and I'm going to adhere that to the larger scored area in the center. And it's kind of important that you get really good adhesive uh, at least on the upper corners of this piece because that's where it's going to be exposed. So around this area it's really good, uh, really important to get really good coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and center that up in that uh, scored area. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to actually fold on my score line it would have helped to use a bone folder on this beforehand. I'm just making sure that I crimp that down really good. And it looks like my edges could use a little trim there, so I'm going to grab some scissors and do that now. Little fuzzies on the edges. Anyway, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to add a little uh, sticky strip along the, uh, the edge here. Uh, the reason I chose to use sticky strip on the pocket is because since this is a pocket, it's going to get quite a bit more, um, going to get more 
uh, force on it as people are pulling things in and out of the pocket. So I want to make sure that that's adhered down really strongly. So I'm just going to, oops, and my other piece there. And I'm going to remove the liners. And that truly is the hardest part of the whole process is removing the liners. Then I'm going to fold the pocket up. And now we're going to decorate the pocket. So, uh, let me see. I'll begin by punching a scalloped circle. And I'm going to use my green piece for that. So I'm going to put a green scallop circle down, and then I'm going to uh, cut a one and three eighths inch circle using my circle punch, and layer that on top of my green scallop. And then I happen to have a stamp that where the words were in a circular pattern that says "Thank you very much." Uh, you may or may not have something similar, and I actually stamped it on both sides of this paper. And uh, so I am going to punch that out. But if you don't have a stamp, a similar stamp, just skip that part and just use a, a cream colored circle. So I'm going to put a cream colored circle with the words thank you very much and I'll be layering that up. And then I took my green scrap one more time and did a three quarter inch circle in green. And then I went back to my pink, and I just happened to have a little punch that's a tiny flower. And I thought it would be cute to add that to the center. So I added that there. So I'm just going to need to start gluing my layers together. I'm going to adhere that. I think I'm going to, for some of the layers, I'm going to use pop dots. So I think I'm going to put a pop dot for my next layer. I think I'm just going to adhere this one on. I'm going to adhere the green circle in the center. And then I actually, I actually think I'm going to use a glue dot to adhere this, so I'm going to lay my flower aside and come back to it. Now here around the hole where it goes over the water bottle, I want to create uh, a little embellishment to go around that. So I'm going to take my one and one quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to punch a hole in my green cardstock scrap. And then I'm going to come back with my scallop circle punch and I'm going to make a collar. I probably went too close to the edge on that. There we go. And actually I have a better collar. That's not very centered very well because I did too close to the edge. So through the miracle of video, <laughs> I have a better one where I punched more center. There we go. So I would just adhere my collar in place. So I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to bring in my... This is a place where it would be actually very good to use a liquid glue because it's a very tight small area. So I'm going to bring this here so I don't get tape on my project. There we go. Make sure that there's no tape on the edges and then I'm just going to go right over that little hole that I created. There we go. I'm going to fold that back because that will go over the neck of the bottle. And the only thing I have left to do now is to add my little flower to the center. So let me grab um, some, some glue dots and a little embellishment that I want to add to the center of that and we'll finish this project up. I'm back with some glue dots. So I'm going to grab that little flower that I punched out using just a scrap of my pink paper. I'm going to apply a glue dot on the back of that. And I'm going to put that right in the center of my little green circle. And then I'm going to bring in my paper piercing tool and rhinestones. And I'm going to add just a little rhinestone detail to the center of that flower to dress it up a bit. 
There we go. And now all I have to do is take my water bottle holder, insert it over the neck of my bottle, and then if I want to add something to the pocket, oops, want to add something to the pocket, I would just take my packet or candy or whatever I'm adding and put it in there. And there we go. A very cute, very simple uh, way to present a drink at a party, a picnic, or a gathering. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you have any questions, please email me at craftingforfun at gmail.com or check out my blog craftingforfun.blogspot.com for additional craft ideas. Thank you.